Small town business owners Wyatt and Lance Bush team together to form Craven Customs. A father and son duo scavenging the web along with the Northeast Texas woods in search of rusty relics. While buying and building on a budget, they recreate and preserve hidden patina, giving each one a story of its own. Chasing their passion, they're giving the past a future, saving lost dreams one vehicle at a time. With help from God, these guys are turning rust. Such a cool old truck. Yeah. Looks like it's died back a little bit since last time we've been here. Yeah, because this was all, it was like green and viney all yeah, All them there. vines died off, ain't they? Not to, not to tell you it ain't gonna be a chore, though. Oh, no, it's. <laughs> I can't tell if that's grown into the bumper or not. Looks like maybe a small limb may have grown in between it, but yeah. maybe not even then. You tell it's been sitting out here a long time. Like there's like little shrubs growing <laughs> in the bed of the thing. And you think, just try to get it trimmed out from behind the truck and pull Yeah, it out. I think so. Get get this one that's leaning over it. I think most of that that's above it's fine, but hmm. oh, wow. Got the key in the ignition. Floor. Oh, oh wasp. <laughs> Scared me. Come out to meet us, didn't they? Yeah, there's one right there. We'll just go ahead and leave y'all inside. <laughs> All right, yeah, I figured just start. Looks like, let me check it out back here. I think there's an old four wheeler or something we might have to rescue in the process. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can rescue it, but move it at least. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got no motor on it, that's probably good. There's a big old tree growing into it there though. I don't know, we'll see. He yeah. said definitely move, cut through this. We could try to miss it, but I bet you it's gonna need to be moved out of the way. Yeah, because there's quite a bit right there. That... I got plenty of room back up to this one now, so we'll grab some saws, I guess, and just start cutting at it, and maybe just pile it up behind that old Ford there. See if we can get it out. in the way for us later. Yeah. See if right. we can get it out for them. So you guys probably remember this old international truck just sitting in the background of the peanut van we cut out from here. Uh, really cool truck, we wanted to buy it so bad. Unfortunately, the owners just weren't ready to turn loose of this one yet. Uh, so we did offer to go ahead and cut it out of the woods for them, get it pulled out of here where it's just not going downhill any longer. Uh, hopefully see, maybe this thing has a motor in it. I don't know why it was parked. We know nothing about this truck. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to do them a little favor, get it cut out, uh, see exactly what kind of bones we've got here and just move on from there. Cleaned up from the pinch oh, yeah. or for the van, the peanut van.
tailgate say Dodge on it? Oh. I wonder if that's a Dodge oh, yeah. bed or just a, they put a Dodge tailgate on it. I don't know. I can get that pole saw and start getting some of this stuff. Might help you get okay. in there a little easier. Force, but I would think it kind of looks like that right there. Yeah. Pretty neat. in that tree. Probably one of the biggest ones we've seen out here. There he goes. 
probably couldn't see it on this GoPro, but... <laughs> All the rats out here want to be movie stars. Yeah. <laughs> you think there's going to be a motor in it? Think there'll be a motor in it? I think so. You can see the logo's good on this side. Oh, yeah, sure can. I hadn't even paid attention to it. At least these ones are kind of dead. Yeah. with that front one. No, it looks like it's fine. Unfortunately, there's a ton of old brush back here. We'll have to move from a previous. Right. Clean up. We'll be able to move this, or it's gonna have to be cut first. Yeah, no, it's stuck <laughs> solid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this front one's gonna have to come off for sure to be able to even move it forward. And that one's, <laughs> I don't know what that one's gonna do. I don't know. Let's get this one out of the way, I guess. Alrighty. Maybe it'll allow us to twist the front end over. Maybe. That one's gonna be fun. like it's grown all around that frame down there. Oh yeah. We may have to get a helicopter and just lift it out of there. Whew. That was gonna be fun to get to. Yeah. We may not be able to. <laughs> we'll give it a try. this tree's hair. <laughs> it actually just fell off where it was grown onto it, so. Oh, well, that's good. So it's probably a good thing it ain't got a motor in it. It'll be a little, a little lighter. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't think that one's gonna run now. No. <laughs> I have no clue where to go with it. I was gonna go up that way maybe. Uh, yeah, we probably could. Kind of hide it again. <laughs> the steering door. Oh, there we go. It's like it was never, never moved. <laughs> well, appreciate that. <laughs> I think we're getting pretty close to the point of trying to get the trailer over here. What do you think? Cut that yeah, down a little more? I think, yeah. I think if we can get it down some more that way, because we're going to be right on the yeah. way of it. That should work. I think we've got most of everything cleared out around the truck that's going to allow us to be able to get to it and pull it out of here. So now we're just going to kind of back the trailer up here. We're going to try to shoot some air to these old tires. Uh, sometimes they'll air up, a lot of the times they surprise us, but I highly doubt this thing's going to roll. I'm sure the brakes are locked up solid, but once we get it pulled out, make sure nothing's hanging on that front tree we didn't trim off there, and try to see if the thing's got a motor in it. But if the tires are air up, that'll help us a lot on getting it on the trailer. That work? I think so. Once again, we're kind of on high ground, so I hope this trailer will let down all the way level. Right. Guess I'll see real quick. I was trying to make sure we didn't land on this stuff. Pretty close, huh? Yeah, we got about a two inch gap here, but. You might have to put a board down or something. Right. You wanna try to shoot air to them tires? Or? Yeah, I think, I think it's, I mean, everything else is aired up for us so far. Use this new gauge Sam gave us. <laughs> wrong. Oh, wrong end, <laughs> huh? Should reach. Right out. Look like they have tubes in them or hard to tell. Coming up. It's hard to tell. I don't know how much to put in it. That's probably, there's enough to make it round. <laughs> yeah. Here a little bit of movement up here, but try this back one. Oh. Bow stands up underneath the dirt zone. Uh, this wheel's rusted out around the... This must have a tube in it. This one may actually already be holding there. One big old... Good old tater digger on the back of this thing. So one of them's got air? That front one I think does. This All back right. one we may not, it looks like it's off the bead, but if it's got a tube in it, it won't matter. That one had a tube in it because it started squirting water and it's rusted out around the valve stem. Valve stem underground? Yep. Probably gonna be rusted on that one too. Surely that front one ain't got air in it. I wouldn't think so, but I mean, probably the tire is probably just hard as can be, but. It's doing something. Shoot water out. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing about a lot of these, they did have tubes in them, so they'd 
There's no way you'd ever had that tire up without no. that tube. <laughs> Ooh, that sounded a little scary, didn't it? Yeah. You wanna call that good? We'll call that good. Check the front one or? We can check it. Let me put this back on. down in the ground so much that you can't really. Yeah, we may have to jack it up even to get it to start to pull, who knows. I'm gonna check to see if it's in gear. Okay. Not that I really think it's gonna roll, but. It's stuck in gear. I ain't getting no air. Uh, it may have come unplugged. Oh, it kinked, hang on. <laughs> okay, I started to say something ain't right. Will that door open from your side, do you think? Uh, I will check. <laughs> it took air. Did it? Yep. Oop. I can't really get it to, I feel like from that angle it might be easier, get it to try to go in neutral. And we might just have to drag it in gear. Like I said, I'm sure the brakes are locked up, probably won't make no difference anyways. You're like me, looking everywhere. There we go, cool. Oh, that's good. Now, I don't know if it's got a motor, it's got a transmission. Well, we want to grab that snatch block and hook to the something back here. Yeah, we should be able to find something back there. It's a old truck bed. Surely it's got some kind. Well, it don't look too bad. It's not all rusted out. It's a bunch of surface rust. You want me to? I think I can get up underneath there and reach that uh, axle. That thing, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you can just loop it around it, then I can get this out here. Yeah, which you think come over this, this side? That side's better, because I see a brake hose coming off this side. Yeah. Wanna... I am trying to make sure, though, there ain't nothing curled up. I'll let you know right after it bites you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'll let me know. Well, the wood on the floor actually looks pretty good shape underneath here. Oh, you've already got the cable back here. I didn't even realize that. I'm ironing my keep on this one. I'm trying to anyways. Probably don't even need that D-hook. Just run that, if that'll fit, if the chain will go through it. It may not. It might. Nope, that's the smallest. Did we there. grab that? Yeah, it should be probably laying up underneath me. Easy enough. Take this off. Uh, it should just kind of ride. Probably slide it up at the front or take it off. I'm surprised there's still, I figured we'd have to shoot air to them again before we started pulling. We want to try to see if it moves? Yeah. He 
you should move. And so we might move, have to... Will it move easy? That would be a different question. <laughs> we might have to jack it up and put some boards under the tires. Depending on how big of a hole the front one. That one over there might be in a pretty big hole. It wasn't bad. It was uh, It was kind of shallow. I'm gonna this, give it a, this back one and that front one over there. Wow. They're rolling. Well, they were. Front one is. This one was rolling. Then hit a... back yeah, one they're is. rolling. I'd have never, I'd have... I'd have never guessed that. Doesn't have a floorboard over on this side. I don't know yeah, if it that's had what a, I saw. It looks like maybe a panel went over it or something. Oh Look, yeah, we'll we'll see the panel there. Does the steering wheel try to turn? Probably hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep going. Coming pretty good right there. Yeah, this one wants to live. <laughs> it wants to leave for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see if I can see a motor. Oop. We're good. Let's see if we can get this hood open real quick. I'm just curious. Let me pop the hood latch. I thought that was it. I thought that's simple enough to see. I don't know. Right there. I don't know which way it goes. It may be locked solid. Let me get that uh, PB blaster. Trying to see if I had something to kind of pry it with on that thing. I may have to find it. I don't know what that is, but oh. what is it? Oh, <laughs> nasty. Mouse latrine. Can you get that to move that way? Need something to pry it with. Well, I didn't want you to have uh -uh. very big fingers. Oh, oh. It's already open. You're great. Well, there's a motor in there. Sure is. Yep. Wow. And this, I mean, it wasn't nowhere for them to build a big nest, but. An old flathead six cylinder, huh? Yep. Some of the wires ate up a little bit, but other than that. I'm just going to be curious. Yeah, that's, you're thinking the same thing I am. Will it turn over? Yeah. I just want to make sure that there's nothing. Come on, Kurt. Ah, it's too loose, ain't it? Yep. Man. Hard to say. Tell you what, let me put it in gear. Try to pull it and see if it looks like it's going to move. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think of that. So I can see it a little better. Yeah. And we're just sliding now. We done made it too far up on the trailer. Yeah. Oh well. We'll figure that out. Now I might have to pull it in gear. <laughs> the good news is the part that's got a right is already up on there. Oh, no, we're going to have to try to get it because it's trying to slide this way. There you go. Just got to pull it from this side. <laughs> All right. Do I need to push or you think you can clear it? I'm clearing it, okay. yeah. As long as I'm okay on your side. Yeah, we got plenty of room over here. Can you turn 
turn the wheels towards the driver's side. Oh yeah, I just barely made it up on the trailer on this side. You ready? Yeah. I think our cables. I yeah. start. So it sounds like we're binding up there in the same spot. That's something you can put in. Uh, I got a block. If not. That noise you heard a while ago and you was wondering what it was, I think it was that tire finally popping on like it was supposed oh, to. Oh yeah. Well, four or five more foot to go. Probably good. Get some straps put on it, I guess. Then we'll put it in gear then. All right. Well guys, I think it's safe to say that we can mark this old girl as another successful rescue out here at the Hudson Farm. Uh, we really appreciate the family allowing us to come out here and try to retrieve this thing. It actually went pretty smooth. I mean, we cut out the trees that were surrounding it. I don't know how long this truck's been sitting here, but it's been here a long time. Uh, was really shocked that the brakes weren't even locked up on it. Most of the time that's given, that's, they're always locked up. So we're not really sure on the motor of this thing, if it's locked up or not, but we'd love to get it back to the shop, kind of dig into it a little bit more. If we can get it up and running for them as well, uh, that'll be super cool too. So we're just going to go ahead and head back to the shop and hopefully see if we can get this thing alive and back on the road again. Those hinges work as well as they do. I know it. Yeah, they. You would think those would be frozen solid. We ever check the oil in this thing? It's thick, it's ain't thick it? and black. Yeah. A little low. Golly, that is some black oil. Like I said I think she's probably locked up. Just want now it's just slipping okay. on that belt. I bet we're gonna have to go ahead and clean the top of this off to get them plugs out. That one's bent up a little bit at the end of it. Oh, that one get them like... plugs pulled out and get something down in them cylinders. I don't know, we might try to throw it in gear and rock it back and forth, see if that'll help to turn It'll be it. Worth and... a try. No, I guess it's probably an old six volt system on this thing. I bet it is, yeah. Oh yeah, it's still got the battery in it. Does it? Yeah. Barely hanging on by the wires on it. But that's that's encouraging to know that Yeah. It was parked with the battery on it. I'm gonna go get some air and try to yeah. clean the top of this. With the up. battery on it, it seems like maybe they were planning on maybe coming back out and Yeah. Julie, if, once you take the battery off, that's it. Boy, those are bad rusty. I don't know if we're gonna be able to even get them out. Look at that one. Let me get on that side. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking a little scary on them plugs. 
So you see them things breaking off and you're having to drill them out. That wouldn't be no fun. Dirt job is trying to help hold stuff in there too, so. I don't know, I don't even think there's a, a shape to the base of them plugs anymore. To even get a socket on it. No, not that one for sure. But, man, those things are rough. I don't know how we'll get them out of there. I mean, this one here still got a, we can get a socket on it. Probably that one there too. Man, <laughs> I don't know. You might be able to chip enough off right there, that little spot. Get that one. To have something. You know, I think I just took off a little bit of habit. That there's nothing there left to grab. I mean, there's nothing. I'm down to the porcelain right there, all the way down to where it goes into the head. I bet the only thing you can do is just break them and then ease drill out. them out. Yeah, take an ease out. And Maybe ease out. I don't know if a person, I don't know if a person need, would need to pull this, this head off here and you could maybe get them out that way where you can actually get to both sides of it. At least get at the base of it and let them soak probably. Yeah, you might. Because I bet you're not going to get them out from up here. They're just going to break off and then you're going to have to fight getting them out and then at least with that, with that off you can keep the pieces from dropping down in the cylinder. Right. I bet that's what we're gonna have to do, is pull that off. So at first glance, it looked like this engine might be fairly simple to get to run, uh, other than we thought it might be locked up. In order to find that out, we needed to get the spark plugs out to go ahead and get some kind of a lubrication down in there in the cylinders. Problem is, uh, they've held water up here on the tops of them and there's just, they're just completely rusted out where you can't even get a socket on them. So they're just gonna break off when we try to get them out. So we're gonna go ahead and get this hood out of the way because it's already aggravating me. Uh, get this head, this, this is a flat head, so it's completely different than a regular style engine. The valves are actually down below in the block. So we're gonna pull this head off and see if we can get these spark plugs worked out of there. And we'll be able to see what kind of shape the pistons and cylinders are in as well once we get that off. Coming out really easy. Backside's turning on mine. Yeah, on that one, it's got a nut. See where it went, so set it in the back. Yeah. Yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> Guess I'll go ahead and go grab that impact and we can soak those bolts down best we can. Okay. Coming out all right, though. Get out of the way there. Switch. Crossbar kind of makes it hard to get at them. What size is that? Uh, 11 sixteenths. That one there looks a little smaller. Okay. Yeah, you might have to get a wrench That's on that one. Say. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to salvage that hose or not. <laughs> I'll take a guess and say, yeah. Have you tried to get it on? 
that hose? Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. No, I took it loose, but I didn't. I should have went ahead and already wrestled that, but. Right. Lifting the head up here. Maybe easier to take it this way. I mean, the good thing is it's just a straight shot, so. Yeah. If we have to cut it, I seen a flex hose in there that'll work on it. I think we're about ready to come on. I'm just gonna cut it, Lance. All right, yeah. The only good thing about doing it like this is we're right there to kind of see why it's stuck or how bad it's stuck. Right. It may not take much. All right, I think that's we got it. This one and this one back here, I think that Probably have this to come up one. and then I don't know Hold how it it's up or get gonna, something under it. And I don't know how it's going to come out with these. It'll have to come out probably my side. Okay. Get that off. Oh, yeah. There we go. It ain't too bad in there. not to mess up that gasket. Oh, it's all there. Set it over here on this table. Yeah, there ain't nothing on the bottom side of these to grab on them plugs hardly. Gasket looks good though. Yeah. Oh wait, that don't. No, that don't really look great. I bet it's mainly going to be possibly them two. Well, let's try to clean it up best we can and start putting some stuff in it to soak. I mean, that's clean. Yeah. Uh, and free. Free. Yeah. Uh, let me try to softly. <laughs> let me kind of softly hit it with 600 <laughs> pounds of pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, they don't look near as no. intimidating as I thought they did once we kind of blew them out. I'm going to go get some. Uh, I thought that was full of cool ink, but it's... I'm gonna go get some Marvel Mystery Roll and squirt okay. down in them. I'll try to get what water I can out of them. Or antifreeze. Well, that one there's got some rust. Does it? Oh, yes, yeah, it sure does. Around the top of the piston there. I wonder, I might spray it with a little PB Blaster, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that the fight will be so much getting this one to turn over, more so of just fighting, getting those plugs out of that. Right. I don't know if you're gonna spray down in them open valves, maybe to yeah. I'll get just them spray all of them. Definitely ain't gonna hurt it, not. Now it's going down through some of them. Just 
piece of a leaf. I can just let it let soak it for a little while. Yeah, come I mean, back. it looks a lot better than that Rambler did, so oh, yeah. I'm more confident in this one than I am that other one. Let's so let it set and we'll come back. Like I said, we can put it in gear and try to rock it back and forth, or heck, may try that starter out and see if it'll do right. it. I bet she'll turn over. You think just go ahead and break that off? Yeah, or? I mean, because they're just in the way now, anyways. So. Off, great. Every one of them will break off different, ain't they? That one did all right. That one I need safety glasses on for. It's shattering all over the place. I might have to come from the back side and try to you want to try this one out. Yeah, we'll try that one. When they give, it's, yeah. it's no problem. It's just getting them to give. Right. Well, two more to go. I'll see if I can get the rest of that plug out of that one there. But... Just did. It was a uh, just that one, so yeah. Well, that Which one you want to try next? Whichever one you think. That one's got a smaller hole inside of it, it seems like. I hope that ease out will even fit in there. You want to just go ahead and heat it up first, or just go yeah. for it? No, I'm just gonna make sure that fit in there, so yeah, we can heat it up. And Don't matter to me which one, they all gotta go. That's good, I really didn't want to have to try to re-tap the threads. Right. Which we can run that, that tap through it anyway. Just Clean them up. But they're already there, so we don't have to worry about being off.
Let me set it down or? Yeah, let's set it down if you can. Just let you drive that in there. Extremely tied in there, though. There it goes. Is it? Yep. Start to say, I'm <laughs> You're about to give up. About to give up. <laughs> I could tell by that last tap of the feet <laughs> there. Probably would have gave up if I wouldn't have seen it moving just a hair <laughs> there. I thought it's done slipped again. Yeah. Well, that's got all six of them then. Yeah. Like I said, we can go ahead and run a. Yeah, that's right too. If you want. Run the tap through them or whatever. Well, he's got us. It's a six cylinder again. Yeah. Guess we'll check back on that and see see how it's doing. So we've let this truck set for a while now and we've tried just about every kind of concoction up in these cylinders as we can think of. Uh, we started out with some PB Blaster, some Marvel Mystery Oil, uh, we've used Evapo Rust, we've used a 50-50, 50% /50, uh, 50 transmission fluid, 50% acetone in it, and uh, not really sure if any of these things have worked. Some of them have allowed it to seep by on the cylinders and some cylinders are just still holding the fluid now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we've got the truck in gear. Dad's going to watch up front here. I'm going to try to rock it back and forth in gear just to see if that'll allow this stuff to break free and, and turn on its own. So we're hoping that the spark plugs was going to be the hardest of this project, but you never know until we see how this turns over or don't turn over. Anything? Nothing. I think we're just dragging over here. Yeah. Try backwards. Okay. Nothing, I'm guessing? Nothing. Yeah, we're kind of just dragging there, but... Yeah. <clears throat> well, that ain't good. You want to try the starter just to see what it does real quick? That way we know we've got at least a, something right there on the flywheel. Right. We ain't losing it in the between the rear end and the transmission. Right. <clears throat> I mean, it's worth a try. And then I guess if that don't work we'll probably have to pull the radiator off get down there on the on the crank or on the flywheel yeah i'll go grab a battery and we can stick it on there and see if that starter even works or okay. not yeah six volt system so it should 
turn over better with that 12 volt battery right. anyways. You double up on it. It does seem like the starter's trying to work anyways, don't it? Yeah. Ain't hitting real hard no. though. I don't even think it's even trying. I don't think so either. It's, it's just so stuck that starter's just able to just basically hit the flywheel hit the fly when it wheel. comes out. Mm -hmm. Well, let's pull the radiator off, I guess. I hate to, but at least try to get down there on the crank, see what it does. I'm gonna disconnect this. Okay. Well, that's Pretty good PB blaster, I mean it's... Yeah, yeah there was, I missed the pan. <laughs> One much. And it... It's two of them. That's all I've seen on this side, so... Yeah, that's got it. It's probably pretty heavy. Uh, it's Have hanging on it. this. Let me turn this fan just a hair. All right, it should come out. Yeah. It's all there. Get rid of this beaver's den here. That'll be good for the lawnmower. Is there even anything on the crank pulley you can get on. Oh yeah, there's a big, it's actually got a, like a nut that's designed to have like the old, old oh. style crank. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can tell where it would have ran oh, through yeah. there. There's a groove in the, everything right there. It's, it was set uh, up to have some oomph put on it maybe. Yeah. Let me go see if I can find a socket. What size do you think that is? Hard to yeah. see. I guess I'll just start I'm grabbing I'm gonna say it's an inch and a half or maybe even bigger than an inch and a half. All right. <sighs> Something's turning and I don't know. Did the socket fit real good and tight? Yeah. So it might just be tightening the end then. Ugh. That always scares me when they're Yep. I mean you'd think though with it being that big, but you never know. Right. See the belt? Is that this the belt loosening off of it? Maybe. Let me try back the other way. I'm sure it's just gonna loosen off though. Oh yeah, loosen off real easy. Yeah. Let's uh suck that stuff out. Yeah, maybe. let's suck it out and then try to get on it with a rubber mallet or something and bang on it while you get a little bit of yeah. Otherwise, we're going to be splashing it all over the place. Right. Well, they look a lot better, though. Yeah. I still think it's probably going to be that that back one though. That's what I, you know. That's what it was on the. It looked the worst. Wasn't that the one on the Rambler? Was the last one also? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, it don't matter. Sounds different than which one? This one sounds like it's stuck. Or no. no, I mean, this one that one sounds solid. That one does. 
That one's got a little hollow. Yeah, like that one. That one sounds loose for sure, yeah. don't it? And I can't get these other two, so. I don't know if heat would do any good. I don't know. I mean, it worked on the plugs. Yeah. But I mean, the plugs are yeah. grabbing those. It's up to you. We can either try some heat or we can try to see if we can grab that flywheel somehow. Let's go ahead and try the flywheel real okay. quick. Okay, I thought saying when we're. I'll get it jacked up where we have a little bit more room and try to figure out something that'll get on it. You can definitely see the flywheel, but... There's a... A hole in the clutch there, but I don't want to. I don't know if I can get anything up inside that. Oh yeah. I don't want to mess the clutch up. Might get a like a pipe wrench or something on that. Oh, the old exhaust is broke loose. Well, everything else breaking loose except for what we need, huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Here's the exhaust. <laughs> Ooh. Well. Coming out through them valves. Dust on one end, liquid on the other. Let me try to put a bore inside this. See if I can get where that clutch is at. Like I said, this old pipe branch might work too. Let me get another bite. Okay. Need something. Now, oh, oh wait, man! At least with the Rambler, some of them were moving. Yeah, ain't nothing moving on that. Uh, I'll try from the other side. I don't know if I'll be grabbing it different or not. It ain't budging. Wear me out. Man. Uh. All I know to do is to try heat before we pull the pan off and do basically what we did on the Rambler. But I don't know how hard that's gonna be with it in the truck. Right. I really don't care to pull this one out. Yeah, I don't either. Let's go ahead and drop it back down, try to heat them up and try it again, I guess. when we started. I'm afraid we're going to end up having to pull that pan and just check it off, check it from the bottom side to see. At least that way we'll know which way they're they're going as we're turning it, you know. You'll know right. which ones are going up and which ones are on their way down. We might just have to pull them loose from the crank and try to hammer up the rods and pistons up through the cylinders. Or if we can break one loose that's, that we know is locked up and turn it, maybe hammer it down that way. Right. 
So after several hours of fighting with the heat and breakover bars and then just various places, uh, we decided that it just weren't making any headway. We we're going to go ahead and try to get the truck inside, get it on the lift. We really don't want to have to pull the motor out of this truck, so if we can get it up where we can pull the pan off the bottom of it, kind of see what we've got, know what kind of direction these pistons are going anyways, uh, maybe have to just disconnect one of the rods or a couple of the rods that are rusted, see if we can get it to turn over and make a little headway that way. Really don't look bad up underneath here. No. Crank's not all rusted and stuff. I said, I bet you it's gonna be that number six and number four piston though, giving us the problem. Yeah. Uh, it's looking at it. If we were turning it, what, clockwise. So yeah, that was going up. That one was going up, the back so, one we were trying to go down on. The two middle ones would have been going down. down. Yeah, that would have been down. You want to try to pull off that number four and see if it'll try to turn over and if not we can go ahead and come back to number six but since how it's it's going up right. it's going, going to be hard up, to yeah we'd have to completely go backwards on that one so yeah i, th I think that'd be the best bet go let's ahead pull that one off and just see if we can try to turn it over and then if it will we know that one's the only one stuck and we can try to hammer it down through there right yep i think that's the plan like about a five eighths or so yeah, it looks practically brand new from the underneath side. All that diesel and everything else we've had in the cylinders and yeah. block has helped to clean it. Yeah, bearing don't look bad. So with the little groove thing okay. goes towards the passenger side of the truck. Alrighty. Let's lower it down where I can get back on that breaker bar up top there and maybe you can get on that flywheel somehow. I'm not moving much, but I am moving some. Again, too much of a bite. Again. Yeah, my yeah, I'm getting wrench some is moving. Oh, yeah. yeah. There it goes for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I got a good one on that one. So, hang on just okay, a second. Okay, yeah. So that's got... I wonder. That's got these these outside ones almost back up to the top. So once they go back down, that should clear out most of the rust on them, huh? Uh, so definitely that yeah. number four was stuck. Yeah, it was stuck. So, where how far do we need to go to try to hammer down on it? Or I guess we could try now, but should we try to turn the crank a little bit more, get that out of the way some, or? Yeah, I mean we're. We're about three quarters of the way. Let's try to get that crank to where it's kind of straight down straight on down. that. One. Okay, that'll work. Oh wow, that, that was easy. Oh, it's getting easy, easy now. Hang on now. These these last pistons ain't moving. I guess are they in that point to where they're just side to side? They're at the top. Yeah. Okay. I say because those ones ain't moving. Yeah, I think they're in the top. Yeah, they are at the very top, but I figured they'd start going down by now. Keep going away. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Getting easier, huh? Well, it was. Now it's kind of... We may be going over uncharted territory now. Right. Oh. Still ain't got down to where that one we can hammer It's that. It's almost oh, at the very... Well, oh. I'm going to keep banging my head here till I... <laughs> knock myself out or... I think what I was, I it's think pretty, that socket was slipping off the head of that thing is what it was. Okay, well we're, we're almost at the bottom, but I'm kind of, let's try to get that first because we may have to go on this other side and work it back the other way. So you want to try to hammer that piston down? I think so, yeah, and uh, we'll have to get that that bearing off, but it's, it's really tight now, and I hate to get us into a spot where we're tight again, if we can go back up maybe and right. spray something. Solid, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe so. Like I'm hitting it pretty hard. 
I think I rubber end on it, absorbing too much of it. I need something good and solid, like a, uh, a good piece of oak. Yeah. It's harder than pine. I mean, we've <laughs> we tried the pine on it, and that didn't work. Do we have any? There's a, I don't know if there'd be anything out in that other shed or not. Probably, I mean, there should be something out in that. Old 2 by 4 or something, maybe. That's old, old wood out there. Maybe there's a cross beam or something. That's, I just wish it'd move a little bit. Yeah. Let's see a little just a, That thing, that was stuck. Yep. And the problem is, I don't think a lot of our liquid is ever penetrating down far enough it just yeah it's, i don't know what crystallizes on those things but they when they crystallize it's like they <laughs> no i think your metal's absorbing i'm gonna go see if i can find an okay. empty board or something cut it down maybe if we get something that'll even fit because yes. i'm hitting right in the center of right. it right now i think if we get something that's closer to the edge because that's where it's hung so we have been able to get this motor to at least turn over now, uh, but we had to disconnect our number four cylinder there. So we're hitting it from the top and it's just locked up solid. Now this thing's been soaking for weeks now, but a lot of that penetrant just hasn't got down to the rust, obviously. So we're using this little rubber block, a rubber hammer, uh, nothing seems to work. So we're gonna go see if we can maybe find a piece of oak, something that fits a little bit more to the size of the cylinder. Give it a good whack with this old Thor sledgehammer and maybe she'll move then. There oh, it went. Yeah, I've seen it. There it goes. Oh, there went. Something fell off. Was that a bushing? Bearing, whatever. Yeah, there it is. Is it in a safe spot or does it need to? Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Uh, we're going to have to clean it up. <laughs> Even though our cardboard was down there, we done knocked a lot of it dust. Only, it only looks like it went about an eighth of an inch, but it went. According to what that. It looks like right in there. Oh, we still got to go quite a ways to yeah. get down mm -hmm. there. Let me make sure though, up underneath here, we're not, that rod's not up against anything. Uh, no, we're good. I should allow it just to come straight down. <laughs> then we'll clean those bearings up. You can feel a little rust ridge there, so yeah, it's. <laughs> you think once it break, it'd be yeah. a lot easier. Golly, it's like a rock. <sighs> They're scared that that rod is hitting up against something underneath there, but no, it's not. Oh, did I see it move? I don't think. There it is. There it's going. Figuring out the torque of my head. <laughs> yeah, even we've yeah. moved at least a quarter of an inch. Probably. I'm gonna spray yeah. it just a little bit more. You see, it was rusty though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was rusty, rusty. Gotta be getting close. I don't want to be able where we can't get that bearing in there. Yeah, like I said, that's uh. Yeah. About three let's let's inch. get something, try to clean that cylinder up, get that bearing in place, get it all back connected, then try to see if we can work it again, I guess. So we got the inside of these cylinders cleaned up the best we can. Uh, there was a lot of rust on that one cylinder that we just tried to sand off a little bit. Uh, we've got the rod connected back down on the crank as well. So now we're just gonna work it back and forth with dad down there on the flywheel. I'm gonna get back up here on the crankshaft pulley. Just try to work it back until it gets a lot easier. Then hopefully we should be able to just turn it over just up here on the crankshaft pulley, then get the starter on there and see how it turns over with that. <coughs> Still tight, huh? Yeah. Say so as tight as that one piston was just to drive down with the hammer. I can imagine. Get a little easier.
I'm just going one cog at a time. But yeah. Oh. They are number one and number six pistons are at the very top again. So. Okay, well maybe. Once they start back down, maybe it'll get a little easier. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and make some, uh, I'm gonna put some transmission fluid down in there too. Okay, just yeah. something to give it a little bit better. Anything that'll give me some kind of lubrication. I about got past the point to where it originally started. Feels like it's getting a little easier. Yeah. Still won't turn up here very well though. I'm slipping off this. All right. Any easier? A little bit. It's gonna take a lot of revolutions on this thing. Yeah, especially one tooth at a time down here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go ahead and clean out this number four cylinder. It's starting to look pretty nasty in there. I think it's breaking up some of that rust on those rings and stuff. Okay. I don't want a bunch of grime just working it back and forth in the cylinders. It's just gonna take a while of just back and forth, I think. Right. But I believe she'll finally turn over the way she should. Probably drop it down and get some oil put in it, and I think just try that starter out now. Okay. I don't know why the battery. Way. Oh my gosh. You see the frame here? Oh wow, no. <laughs> Ooh. That's scary there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty well gone. The whole bottom end's rusted off Almost right there. Almost a foot of just missing, and then another foot of. Well, we might have to find a different place for the battery. Yeah. I think get out from underneath this thing. All right, honey. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Pretty rough. Yeah, I don't like this. So once we discovered the condition of the frame near the battery tray there, uh, we went ahead and got the truck off the lift and back outside here. Dad's topping it off with some fresh oil. I'm just gonna go in here and put the battery on it. We're gonna try it with this starter. Uh, the, we could tell the starter was trying to work earlier, but this will be the, the sign of whether or not we're gonna have to pull it off and try to get it to working as well. But I think we've got the motor turning over well enough by hand where the starter should turn it over. We'll check our valve, uh, valve train here, make sure everything's working on that then go back to putting the head on it, spiring gas, maybe she'll fire up for us. So on this truck it's actually just a 6 volt system with a positive ground so uh, we're running a 12 volt battery here uh, but everything's backward where the negative runs to the starter and the positive actually runs to the frame for a ground. So. It'll work, it'll allow these 6 volt starters to actually turn over a little faster than a 6 volt battery. How's it looking? Just fishing to check it. Right. 
right on the full. Should work. You can check it again once it turns over. Gets oil in all the right places. Make sure we are in neutral, it should be, but. It'll make a difference this time. Yeah. Hopefully. Go ahead, I guess. Come on, let it turn over good. Great, great. It scared me. <laughs> a lot, lot faster. faster than I thought it was gonna go. I don't know what that last little noise was unless it was a starter when you let back I off. I think it was. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Extremely fast. So hard to tell. It's turning over so fast whether if the valves are working or not. Go again. Yeah. That one's not going back down. Is it not? Mm-mm. And I don't know about that one, but... Ready? Yeah. Sure ain't. Not either. Huh. That one and that one are... I wonder why they're not going back down. Spray some stuff up in them, I guess. I don't really know how these ones work. I don't either. Which one, that one? This one. That's, that's turning over. Probably be easier just to turn it like this. Crazy though, they go from taking a sledgehammer to it. Yeah. It won't do nothing to turn it over that easy. That one's all the way up in the middle. No. Go ahead. Yeah, I can go back to that one. I don't like hitting on these, but... It's going down. But I don't know why it's... Huh. I didn't know if you wanted to do that one, but you... you well, like, you okay, that. yeah. Was that was it? That one? Yep. That one, yeah. No, not going back down, is it? Oh, there it went. It popped. It just... Yeah, I bet that did it there. So, you want me to try to do this one too? I think so. Until it's getting a little better though. Yeah. I don't know, there's a side plate on this motor. I believe you probably have to take off to get down there to spray that better. I hate to go through all that for... Yeah, I could probably have to take that intake or exhaust off yeah, or something. I think both of them are going to come off. And we may just have to let that stuff set there a little longer and creep down. So I believe we've got these two valves that were sticking on us working now. We just had to get a little PB blaster down there on the bottoms of the, the valve stem there. So now when we turn it over here, You can see everything's moving extremely fast, but all the valves are opening and closing the way they need to, which is good. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that head, put that head on there, put some spark plugs in this thing and try to get a little bit of firing. Probably gonna have to do some uh, points, condenser, wires, everything on the firing side. So get this head put on here and uh, just go from there to see what problems arise next. Still got one bolt in here that wouldn't come out. Yeah. So. I have to be careful with that one. Oops, just a sec. Piece of trash fell off. I got it. Oh, it's heavy. Got it. Something ain't lined up. That go in the, where it yeah, needs to go? It, yeah, it's in the hole there. It is? Yep. Okay, I'll grab the bolts. Should have them all. 
guess we'll grab some spark plugs and start putting those in. So we went ahead and got all the firing on the ignition side pretty much replaced. Uh, new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, uh, points, condenser, a rotor button. We had ordered a new distributor cap, but it come in wrong. Uh, we had ordered on the wires, they come in wrong as well. So we've kind of stole, uh, stole from different things around here. We've got a wiring system on here, so we can go ahead and check out the fire. On this one, we're trying to be a little bit more optimistic than normal. Uh, we normally try to fight it getting gas. Once it does try to crank up so we've just got a regular old uh, our little cheapy gas tank back there rigged into the factory line that we blew out uh, goes up here to the factory fuel pump on the motor the mechanical one so hopefully that still works if it does but right now we're just going to check see if this thing's getting spark anyways add a little fuel to it see if it tries to pop off if it does get the radiator on it try to send it on down the road Pretty good spark. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. at least looks it, anyways. Uh, we want to try to put a little gas in it. I think so. I know that we still got some PB blaster and transmission fluid and stuff down in there. That's going to take a little bit to burn off. If it happens to crank up, watch that belt. I don't know so much yeah, about. It's going to be scary. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? I think so. Oh, you're on fire. Here. Yep. We probably need to push this backwards or something. I don't think we're going to be able to. <laughs> what? It caught fire. I think that's probably what was up in that exhaust. Probably so. Because I couldn't reach all of it. I still don't think, though, that we're... It sounds like we're off somewhere. Yeah. Push it back up where it was. That good? I think that's good. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Sound like it's going to try, ain't it? Can you give it a little gas? I think the linkage is. Free. Yeah, let me let me get this up here where I can figure out where's where. Okay. I don't know what yeah. Didn't think I'd try that quick. I didn't either. Ready? Yep. I said watch that belt, because it's got a bad spot yep. right there. It's gonna run. Crazy. I'm hoping it'll eventually pump up that gas there. Look okay over there? Yeah, everything looks No fine. fires? No <laughs> fires. That's my fault I hit it too soon. I might have to start cranking it inside. The starter wire is getting a little warm. Hang on just a second. Felt something hot, I thought. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Huh. Pumping anything yet? Not yet. Um, we're going to have to get that carburetor squirting. Yep. Bet that float's just stuck down. Let's try it one more time and then we'll pull that carburetor off and see what's going on in it.
Well, over the last little bit, uh, things haven't progressed too well. We left off with pulling the carburetor off to clean it. Uh, once we got it pulled off, we had found out that it was completely flooded in that intake there. It was just holding gas. So Dad got the carburetor all pulled apart, got it cleaned up, and everything seems to be pumping the way it needs to. Uh, but now that we've got it all put back together, we have fought this starter. Now, I told you we were running 12 volts to it, so we started having a little bit of starter issues from that. So we switched on over to the six volt battery and even switched out this starter with another old international starter we had. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we're just not having luck with starters either. Another issue we've come across here is we were hearing a little bit of a hiss up front of this engine. We sprayed something just to show a little bit of air movement. And whenever I hit this over, we're losing compression out of these spark plugs here. So I don't know if that's from, we've, we've cleaned down at the base of them where they were a little rusty, but they should be sealing off. We've torqued them down at factory specs of what they're supposed to be torqued to. So at this point, I don't know if this head would need to come back off, drill them out and go ahead and put a helicoil in there or something to allow those seal off. But anyways, we're at that point to where we're just gonna go ahead and try to see if we can, we, we wanted to drive the truck on this episode, but if we can at least let y'all hear it run just a second, uh, that's the goal now, but we don't even know if we'll meet that. So we're just gonna try to see if we can get it to crank up and uh, just make a decision from there, I guess. Ready? Yep. Just about had it. I mean, that's running, but not enough to, right. to yeah, the, I want it to kind of just at keep. At least, yeah, at least run off the fluid just a little bit. Ready? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I guess. Ooh, started pumping gas yeah. out. That could have been dangerous too, pumping that gas out. Well, I've got the tank flipped up where it, right. I guess it was just what was in the pump. Well, it ran, uh, it pumped out some fuel that was still in the fuel pump there. So uh, since it did crank up, I want to try to see if we can crank it up again. That may be the only crank that we got, uh, but we're going to at least see if we can try to get it to crank up and run a little bit longer, but uh, it did run. Yes. So we've made a lot of headway from this stuck motor that we're hammering out a piston with a big old block of wood and everything else we could try. So uh, let's give it one more shot, I guess. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if that starter's gonna last much longer. If that or maybe the battery's starting to. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's that starter. starter. Both of these starters are old. Yep, and it's hot. Try it one more time. That, that sounds sense. like the battery though, don't yep. it? Mm -hmm. Either that or the starter just completely, completely went out. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Nah. I think that's a starter. I think it's a starter too. Well. I'm wondering if that clutch, if I push it in, if the truck, I don't even know if the pedal works. I mean, just the part that, <laughs> the external part, more or less, the clutch and pressure plate and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to have the forklift even now. We ain't about to roll this thing. Just put it in a gear and I'm gonna try to pull it backwards, see if it'll. You want it in a high or low gear? I, I don't care. 
But you'll have to push in on the clutch once you do it. can't hear you over there. Yeah, best I can tell. Okay. Well, it's just not springing back real good, but. Oh, well, that ain't good. Think we can work it back and forth? I think so. I mean, it's springing some, it just, it just needs to be worked. I just. What do we want to try to pull start it? I had to figure out where to put that battery. It's out of the way. I think it's worth a shot. I think so. I mean. It might crank up that way. Kind of at a point where we ain't got no more choice. We're wanting it to run a little longer than what it did already. Ready? Yeah. starting the thing was a success but we have no radiator on here I wasn't expecting it to crank up that easy so I just went ahead and killed it we're gonna pull it back with the forklift uh, pop that radiator and them hoses on there so we've got some coolant running through the system we may just have to push start it again I think our starters gave up on us but I still think we're gonna be able to successfully make a run in this old truck that's easy enough So this is a pretty cool old truck and apparently at some point in its life 
it was an old uh, service truck. So you can still see the door logos here. Uh, some sort of machine shop in Hope, Arkansas. So as we're gonna clean this up, we wanna try to preserve that the best we can. It's awfully flaky there, so we're gonna have to be really careful in that spot. Uh, on the inside of the truck, you may have seen on the last video, Pretty dirty inside here, bunch of stick and debris and mouse poop from, from rats. Got a bunch of cobwebs up top here we'll have to clean up, but uh, we'll probably just try to scoop all this out the best we can and then maybe go ahead and pressure wash it. On the bed back here, we've literally got a vegetation growing in the dirt and stuff that's been uh, just set up in time. So we'll just have to shovel all that out best we can, put it in trash cans, and then go ahead and take a pressure washer to it. Not really sure how well this truck's going to actually clean up on the outside. It's got a really cool patina to it, uh, and that's what we kind of want to preserve with it. Not exactly sure what the owner, if they're gonna want to keep the patina to it, or if they're wanting to go back and paint this truck. But for right now, we're just gonna kind of see what it is uh, up underneath this dust and rust and uh, see how she turns out from there. All right. A bit messy back here, but. Yeah. I don't see a whole be... lot of anything worth keeping. Maybe a couple things, but. Oh, no, those cans look pretty valuable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was in these cans. He's got a lot of them back here. Kind of an odd shape. Yeah, they're in there. Kind of remind me of like a little soup. Soup cans, but I doubt that that's what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Kind of a strap or something, ain't it? I think once we get all the little, I mean, the, the bigger stuff out, then we can just kind of scoop it into the wheelbarrow from there on, so. Yeah, I think most of it is, most of it's just, just dirt. Good dirt. Yeah, really good dirt. <laughs> It may not be as deep as in no. dirt as I thought it was. Yeah, it really is. A... These old cans and stuff are below. Man, this, whatever this strap or tape is, it is everywhere. So this dirt, you just want to take it? Yeah, well, I'll, I've got that shovels right there and we'll just scoop it up, put it in the wheelbarrow and All right. I'm not carry gonna it somewhere else. Getting a ton of that out then. Don't throw it at my head. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's getting just about all the the bigger <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I think we can use that <laughs> shovel in that now. They have a metal, metal bed there. Don't sound like wood. Well, with all that dirt on it, you would think they'd just be holding in that moisture and not be rusted, but hopefully not. Hopefully it's in pretty good shape. It'd be better than if, if it was wood, I'm sure it'd be. Oh yeah, for sure, wood would be. would be gone. Yeah. in the world is that? Oh, it's like one piece. I don't know if it's... I don't know. You can have that, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming across a little bit of rust right in here. All along the little... Yeah. Where it's welded together right there. Oh, it's actually all, all the way down, I think. <laughs> I think 
safe for me to stand back here and to hold me or no? If it don't hold you, then you'll just go through. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll you tell you if you get afterwards. out. I'll get the majority of it, the rest of it should rinse out. Bad. I mean, oh well, you got some, you got some pretty bad rust over in here. Yeah. No, <laughs> but I mean, other than that, other than like the edges, it's not. Well, as long it's as it's not been, as bad as some cars would come across. As long as it's been sitting, oh yeah, leaves, there's anything left there. Oh yeah. That's why I said shocking because it's so much water and stuff just being held here, and I was expecting to be way worse. that good. I think so. Well that right there is the work of a true hard working pack rat. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame what he's got it packed full of most is. Well it had to have been something pretty big because there's some pretty big sticks over here. Well that ain't sticks over here so. Poop. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to worry with it. I got a couple pieces of trim I'm going to lay up here on the fender for right now. For the grill. And yeah, we may end up having to pull this seat out of here. Oh, there's the panels to the, I guess the oh, battery yeah. tray there. Yeah. Maybe. Figure just get what we can and then get a vacuum or pressure washer. We may have to get a vacuum after that big old pile of turds there. Yeah. Will this seat don't fold down, does it? Just probably pull forward, but it's probably so rusted it don't even do that. I don't feel anything. But, well, there's a lever, but it doesn't feel very good. Get it out on the ground and then oh, work from right there. Huh. Good bunch of sticks in the back back there. I think they have this old tar paper. I don't know what the floor is going to look like. Yeah, it ain't terrible. Oh, it's a big old mud flap. Like an 18 wheeler. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm pulling out mouse house or seat stuffing. <laughs> yeah. I think it might be one in the same. One in the same. Well, the doors ought to shut a lot better once we. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the vacuum, see if I can't get these lo loose turds up top here. Okay. So Well, they're not fresh because they're tasted them. <laughs> they're just dry. That is a lot of poop. Yeah. Yeah, but there's some floor too. Yeah, hey, it's repairable. We we'll have to pull that seat out to get all that yeah, behind there. Yeah, there's or, a bunch of. Or try more. to see if we can get to slide forward. 
if it even will. So now that we pretty much got the uh, bed of the truck cleaned out, the inside of the cab the best we can, uh, we'll end up pressure washing those down just to get some of that dirt, and loose paint, debris, cobwebs out of the way. We had pretty much cleaned up the engine compartment pretty well when we were getting it running, uh, so just a pressure washer will do the trick on that. Now we're going to try the exterior of this truck with the pressure washer. Going to try to wash off some of this old moss and stuff like that. Going to be real careful in this area of the logos because we want to preserve that the best we can. As you can tell on this side it's already about to come off completely anyway so just going to crank up the pressure washer uh, hit it with a little water a little elbow grease see what she looks like after that this truck pressure washed and as you can tell some color is starting to come out just a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to take some CLR scrub it into it just a little bit and see if we can get this color to enhance just going to wet it a little bit and then All right. there's some scotch brights there we'll just take and just start scrubbing on it okay. not too hard but enough to go lightly and just see how it does All right. and then you'll have to rinse it off as you go okay Looks like it was green now. luck on your side. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see it come off just a little bit. I take a few scrubs. Yeah, definitely. Be careful around any chrome, not just use it on the chrome. All right. I 
hit my side, see what it does. Oh yeah, it's taking it all. This is gonna take a lot of rubbing. Oh yeah. <laughs> me hit yours? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. That's a pretty green. Yeah, like an old hunter green. Yeah, who would have thought? 40 years of. <laughs> I know, I thought it was just, I didn't think there was any yeah. paint, paint left on it that would even show up. <laughs> I just thought it was all surface for us. I don't know that this top is gonna... Yeah, it looks a little iffy. <laughs> yeah. I think it, it's, I mean, it's coming off yeah. dirty like it is. Slowly taking it. Wow. Wow. There you can see it's just slowly running off. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? That's pretty neat. You never would have thought. And try out these fenders. Yeah. See if they start. You can kind of see compared to the door, a huge, huge, huge difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll have to be careful on that door. I might just use some degreaser and a sponge pad or something on yeah. there. Yeah. So don't mess up the logos, none. Yeah. Try out these fenders. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of color on my side, but it's gonna take a lot, a lot, a lot of scrubbing. Well, yeah. ooh, this is coming off easy. Is it? Um, yeah, down lower. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's that's coming <laughs> off real easy. How neat. Yeah, I would have definitely guessed it was at least a red or maybe even orange. Never would have thought green. Well, you can tell by the grill there, it's been, Painted a little bit of everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's some spots you probably won't be able to get up. No, nah, some completely. of it's just gonna stay surface for us. Yep. Keep scrubbing, we'll get there. So we've been scrubbing quite a bit on this old truck and I'm actually surprised how much of the original color is still on there and showing up. Now on these doors, uh, this side was the worst side of having the logos on there, so I need to be most careful on this side. I'm just gonna use just some uh, super clean degreaser and hopefully a sponge and just try to be as careful as we can to save these old logos on here. Uh, just cause it tells a little bit of a story about the truck, a little bit of history of the truck and I hate to lose that, but we won't know until we start scrubbing at it. So I'm just gonna hit that with a little bit of degreaser Razor, scrub around on it and then we'll just keep going around the truck scrubbing around until we get the look we like and um, we'll come back after that with some bold linseed oil that'll really make these colors pop.
So there's not going to be a whole lot left here that we're going to be able to save, but you can at least see where it says truck repair and then the town that it was located in. So we took a lot of before pictures of the other side. If a person wanted to recreate these, we could definitely have that repainted on there. But once again, not exactly sure what the owner wants to do. So pretty happy that that much stayed on there. We'll just keep going around the truck and uh, see how she looks like totally done. So we got this truck pretty much scrubbed down everywhere. Uh, the cab cleaned up really well in comparison of the old bed there. Uh, it just amazes me how much of this original green color showed up up underneath that surface rust. So the CLR worked pretty good on cleaning that off. Now where this heavy rust is, like up on the flat panels, like the top of the roof, top of the hood, uh, that didn't clean up as well. But uh, it's got a really cool look to it. I love these old door logos here. Uh, you can actually see this one really good now. So that's outlined and just, just Mother Nature's paint job here, just outlining that natural patina. On the inside, uh, pressure washed it out the best we can. A lot of paint kind of flaked off the dash and the, the door jam areas have to wipe that seat down just a little bit. Uh, like I said, on the bed, uh, obviously this truck had been painted, painted at some point in time with like an orange or a red, whitish color, maybe a couple different paint jobs. So the bed just looks a little different than the cab. Uh, the floor back here, uh, about as, as good as it can be. It's got some rust over here on the front front edge of it there and also took a pretty good uh, something with a lot of weight was probably put in here and been, been in the top of that bed and the cab as well so uh, wheels cleaned up pretty nice tires look brand new even though they're who knows how old so I guess the next thing we're going to do is just try to wipe this truck down with a bold linseed oil it's really going to bring out a lot of these colors on the truck so it'll make that green a lot more vibrant as well as the rest of these colors so we'll get some of that mixed up just start applying it around the truck and see how she turns out after that. So just a little bit of this stuff really goes a long ways. You want to wipe it as thin as possible and in direct sunlight as well. It'll help it to dry. But you can see already how much more that green shows up just by wiping that on there. And literally anybody can do this. It's just as easy as wetting your rag and rubbing down the panel. Try to do half this hood here to kind of show a little before and after. Try to stay away from your chromes and stuff. Don't wipe it on that. Just keep it on the, on the sheet metal. That's looking good. So you guys can tell quite a bit of difference here in comparison from where I've wiped this linseed oil to how it was. So it just enriches these colors a whole lot. Uh, it'll last about a couple of months depending on where you're storing the vehicle. So after a couple of months, you may have to reapply, but it'll actually preserve this, this sheet metal better than just leaving it exposed like that. It kind of protects it from the elements some. We'll just keep going around the whole truck. It's really gonna make these colors come alive and give it the look that we're looking for.